Okay, so five, four, conversion factors, conversion rates are the same thing. Um, you already have some background in this a little bit. Okay, so don't think that you're going in blind to anything because you're not. Okay, because you already have a little background. Now let me show you some of that background. You know some of these things, right? Um, some of them you will need to write though because you maybe don't know off the top of your head. You maybe don't know that one off the top of your head. Okay. Um, another one I know you're going to need to know is one year is 365 days. Oh, not 55, 65 days. Yep. And another one a lot of people don't know is one year is 52 weeks. Okay. And then some of the other ones I know you need to know. I know you need to know these. I know you need to know, I think, these two. Some of these you know off the top of your head. You do not have to write them down if you know them. Definitely don't write them if you know them. It's not worth it. So you got the ones down you didn't know? This should be feet, by the way. And it's miles. That's what miles. 5,280 feet. Make sure you get the ones written down you don't know. Okay, sweet. All right, you about ready? Ready, Jacqueline? All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do simple conversions, okay? To me, a simple conversion is one step, okay? So if I look at 52 miles and I'm going to change that to feet, what am I going to do to do that, Hunter? Yeah, 2008 or 280 and then 52 times 52. Now, why am I going to times it? Now, here's the thing I like to think about. If I'm going to go for miles to feet, if I have one mile, how much, how many feet is in one mile? 5,280, right? So if I have 52 of them, I need to multiply to figure out how many feet I have. Now, to save us time, I'm going to do it on my calculator, okay? Oh, we'll do it then. 5,280 times 52. I won't. No, not today. It's only 12 problems, 13 problems. Not bad. So it should be... Two seven four five sixty. Okay, so that's how many feet we're in fifty two miles. That's a long way. That's like from my house to Sioux City. Two hundred and seventy four thousand feet. That's crazy, isn't it? That's a long way. Remember a foot's just twelve inches. That's two hundred thousand of them from my house to Sioux City. That's crazy. That's crazy. If you want to see how many inches are in that, what would you do then? multiply that by 12. So if I do that, this is how many inches there are. We could figure that out too. 3 million, 3.2 million inches. That's a lot. Okay. All right, so let's keep going here. Let's go, let's do a few more, okay? So 67 feet to inches. What am I going to do to this? I'm going to multiply. Multiply, yep, times 12. Um, do you want to do it? You can do it. Whoever's going to do it. Eight oh four. Eight hundred and four inches and sixty seven feet. Okay, meters to centimeters. Now, this is another conversion that some of you might not know off the top of your head. How many centimeters are in one meter? Yep, one meter equals 100 centimeters. If you don't know that, you should also probably write that down. That's when you should know off the top of your head. One meter is 100 centimeters. I have 45 meters. I want to know how many centimeters that is. What am I going to do? I'm going to multiply it by 100. 
and that's how many centimeters. Now let's talk about this one below. I have 4,892 centimeters, but I want to turn that back into meters. I need to divide this time. Why? Because I want to know how many groups of meters, if I know there's 100 centimeters in one meter, I want to know how many groups of 100 I have in there to tell me how many meters it is. I can do this in my head. No, I would leave it at this. If it just asks you to figure out that, I would just leave it. You could do that one in your head. So. Okay, now here is a simple, easy rule to remember. If you have one step stuff, like I've been doing up here, okay? If you're going from smaller, a smaller unit, to a larger unit, hmm. So if I'm going from, here's a good example. If I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, what did I just do? Okay, this is only for one step stuff, okay? We're going to get to two, and it doesn't work for two weapons, but for one step, these are some good rules. If I'm going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, what do you think I'm going to do this time? I'm going to multiply. For example, this one up here. I'm going from meters... Think how big a meter is, to a centimeter, itty bitty, larger to smaller, I had a multiply. Okay? Now remember, these only work for one step stuff. Okay? That makes sense so far? Okay. No, we're going to come and talk about that in a second. We're going to talk about customary to um, trick in a second. Any questions about this? All right, so quickly, let's talk about this one. 12 hours to second. I got to divide by 60 how many times? Well, first of all, if I'm going from hours to seconds, I'm going from bigger to smaller, so I need the time. If I times by 60 once here, what is that going to give me? It's going to give me minutes, right? So that's 720 minutes. Now what am I going to do to this again to get it to seconds? I'm going to multiply by 60 again to get me to seconds. So sometimes you have to go do double stuff. Yes, ma'am. Yep, 3,600. Yep, you could do uh, 12 times 3,600. That would also work. No, this is not two step. I'll show you what those look like. Oh, you got it. This? So this is not the two-step ones I'm talking about. The two-step ones I'm talking about have, like, two totally different units of measure I want you to change it to. So, yep, that's, this is not a two. You'll see that. Okay, well, we're not done yet. Okay. All right, so the other thing, I'm going to go to the next thing, and I want you to turn to page 201 in your book. Okay. So part of your homework is going to be what I just talked about. The other part of your homework is going to be in this book. Okay. If you look on page 201, do you see that chart there? Okay, that's what you're going to use for the second part of your homework today. Okay. Now, here's the thing about the chart. It goes from metric to customary or vice versa. Remember last year we talked about this a little bit, and remember we said that we, the United States, is one of the only countries in the world to use customary? No, there's one, one other one. Yeah, but maybe they don't use customary. Maybe they use their own unit of measure, but everybody else uses metric system. Okay. All right, so here's the good thing about using this table. If you're using this table, they did all the work for you already, and you're going to multiply. Anything you do with this table, you're going to multiply. Okay? There's going to be no division. If you have to use this table, there's no division because they did the work already for you. Okay? So let's look at some of these conversions in here. Do you see, like, a custom rate of metric, you said 1 inch equals 2.540 centimeters. Do you see that? Okay, and then go across from it. Do you see how one centimeter equals 0.394 inches? Do you see that? They're like the same uh, conversion rate, but what's the only thing that's different? What comes first in both of them? One of them is metric to customary, and one of them is custom to metric. So here's the thing. When you're doing some of these, so let's do this one together. Let's do this one together. Six miles to kilometers. Find in there 
where it's miles to kilometers, where miles comes first. Okay, so one mile equals what, Hunter? 1.609 kilometers. The only thing you're going to do is you're going to multiply those two things now. They did the work for you of dividing and all that good stuff because they see how they have two different types in there? One's one way, one's the other way. Well, yep, you're going to multiply six by this, and that's going to give you how many kilometers? That's it. So if you use this chart, you're only going to multiply. And it's really, really important to follow exactly what they want. So this one wants miles to kilometers. So you have to look in there for miles to kilometers, okay? But look at the other side. Is that kilometers to miles? Do you see that? Okay, do you see which one you have to use? You have to use the miles to kilometers because that's what they have up there. Does that make sense? You can't use the other one because the other one's not going to work. If it was the other way around, then you use the other one. So it has to go in the order that this is on the board. Yeah? Hmm? You're always going to multiply because they took care of the division for you. If they only had one side of this, then you'd have to divide. But since they have two sides of it all set up for you already, then all you're going to do is multiply if you have to. Okay. Um, just for metric to customary. Depends what they're asking for. Like if they're doing hours to seconds, well, it's not going to be in there. But if they're doing like milliliters to uh, ounces or kilometers to miles or uh Kilometers to, I don't know, what else is in there? To yards or inches? Yeah, you have to use this chart. So that's why it's so important. And I'm not going to make you memorize this whole thing because someday when you need to know this, you're going to say, Siri, how do I find this? And Siri's going to tell you. And so that's why I'm not going to make you memorize this. If you need to know it for your test, I'll tell you what you need to know. Okay? But I'm not going to make you memorize it. Okay? Spell like slam? So let's do another one. Let's go, not this one. Let's talk about this one. Let's do this one together. So I have yards, yards, two meters. So one yard is how many meters? 0.914. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 914 and I'm going to multiply by 11. And that's going to give me my answer then. So 0.914. 11. Uh, close. No. Is that what you guys got? Did anybody do it? Alright, so does everybody understand how to use that chart? You have to, number one, figure out what's first and what's second, and that's what you have to find in there. If you don't follow the exact order, then you're not going to get it right, okay? All you're going to do is multiply. Any questions on that? Okay, we're good? All right. So this is the part here that some of my other students were having troubles on. This is the multi-step. This is the two-step, okay? So what do you notice about this? What do you notice about this? It has miles per hour, and it wants you to change to what? Feet per minute. So we're going to be doing a few different things here. So I like to do it one step at a time, and I think that's probably the smartest thing to do. I have 20 miles an hour, and I want to change that to how many feet in a minute. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. Guess what I'm going to change this to? Feet. So don't even think of what's behind it. If I'm going to change 20 miles to feet, what am I going to do? 20 times 5,280. Okay. Zero, zero. So, I don't know if you guys did it, but I, I kind of hope you did. All right, so do you see how after I did this is what I got for an answer? 105,600 feet. Does everybody understand that so far? What's the matter? Okay. You're scared. Nope, just wait a second. Okay, you're close. You're very close. So this says I can go 105,600 feet in one hour. But if I want to break it down to a minute, how many minutes are in an hour? 
So I want to figure out how far I can go in one of those minutes. So instead of multiplying by 60, what do I have to do? I have to divide by 60 to figure out. If I divide by 60, that's going to tell me how many feet I can go in a second then. Okay? Do you see how before we had those bigger to smaller divide, multiple, you know what I'm talking about? It does not work for this because is this true hours and seconds? No, I'm talking about feet. I'm not talking about hours and seconds. Okay? I'm talking about feet per second. That's why my little tricks don't work for the two-step or the multi-step. Okay? Yep? Yeah, if I had uh, miles per minute and I was going to go to feet per hour, then I'd multiply, yeah. Yeah. So if I divide by 60, so I don't know what this is. 61, 0, So I can go with feet per second. Oh, per minute, I'm sorry. This is supposed to be per minute, not per minute. Okay, does that make sense to everybody? Now let's say I wanted to actually make it to feet per second. If I, if I can go this many feet per minute, and I want to know how many feet per second I'm going to go, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide by 60 again to figure out per second. Huh? Yeah, it's confusing. Maybe I didn't explain it the best way, but yeah. Actually, 3,600. Three because 60 times 60 is 60. Somebody else said that too. You just add the 60s together. 3,600, yeah, that would work. All right, should we try another one? Yeah. Let's try another. Okay. All right. Well, Not in this, I don't think. Why is that? Is it actual that in the book or something? No, oh, no, 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 no. No. And maybe they do about because they may be round. That's probably why they did that about because they may be rounded in there. All right, so 18 miles an hour, and I'm going to change it to feet per second. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change this miles to feet. So... You don't have to do it that way. So let's see. I don't know. Let's make sure 5,280 times 18 oops, would be this. Okay. So you go 95,040 feet per hour. But I, wanted to, I have to change it to minutes first, and then I got to change it to seconds, right? So if I go this far in an hour, how do I figure out how to get to minutes then? Divide by 60. And then if I want to do to seconds, I have to divide by 60 again. So I really could. Some people are saying, well, I don't get what you mean by 3,600. Well, if I multiply these two together, I could just divide by this whole number first and get my second. come up with this feet per second. That's what you should have came up with anyway. Huh? Oh, that's fine. Did you divide by this? Or what did you divide? Did you do 60 and then 60 again? I was just wondering. Oh, because it's what 60 times 60. That's why. That's 
that's why. There's your error, that's not a big deal. Yeah, that's easily fixed. Yeah, if you're going down to hours to seconds, yes. But if you're just going from hours to minutes, you're just going to use 60, because you don't need that extra 60 in there. Yeah, me, that's the way I like to do it, because I like to see all my steps. But. You know what, we're going to do a practice one from the book. Does that sound all right? Kind of one like this? Um, there might be one, I'm not sure. There might be one kind of like in around number 11, I believe. I don't know if it's mile, I don't, I think that's number 11 is miles per hour to the nearest feet per second. Number 13, 12, you might have to do something like that too, yeah. So you want to do a practice one from the book? Okay, let's go to that page, page 203, and let's do like numbers like one and two, shall we? We'll do it together. Number one and two on page 203. Let's just do Because it's good for you. It's good for you. All right, are you ready? Let's look at number one together. You guys ready? We'll do it together. In Brazil, about 20 acres of rainforest are destroyed each minute. At this rate, how much rainforest is destroyed per day? Okay, so first, we're going to go from minutes to days. And what is something we probably are missing in between there? Min hours, maybe? Minutes, hours, days, right? So if I know it's 20 acres in one minute, let's figure out how many acres are in an hour. So, yep, so in one hour... It would be 20 times 60, which would be 1,200. That's in one hour. But if I want to know in a day, how many hours are in a day? 24. So I'm going to take 24 times. Yep. So it will be 1,200 times 24. And that will then tell me how many are in a day. How many acres in a day. I think you're right, Hunter. There we go. There. Uh, and then your, your comma. So in one day, this is how many acres are turned out. Okay, does everybody understand how we took that step by step? See, we had to go through hours. We can't just go for minutes, days. You have to say, okay, how many hours are in a day? How many minutes are in an hour? So you had to use those hours. Question, Larissa. No? Did you get this? Did you get these two things? Zero, zero, four, eight? You missed a zero. Uh, no, because I'm not doing seconds to minutes. Right? I'm talking about minutes first. I didn't have any to do with anything with seconds. So if I did, then I would. So try two. This is going to be a tricky one. You want to do number three, too? Sure. We'll do two and three, too. So here's number two. Lexi can paint five yards of fencing in one hour. So five yards per hour, right? Everybody understand how I wrote that? Yeah, but I kind of want to do it too. At this rate, how many inches does she paint per minute? So I'm going to go to inches per minute. See how this is a multi-step one? So I'm going to multiply figure yards to inches. So there's... Three feet in a yard, so this is like a multi-step in itself. So three feet in a yard, so it would be 15 feet and 15 times 12. Yep, that's a tricky one. That's tricky. Does everybody understand how we did that? We had to go from yards 
to, uh, what was it again? Feet to inches. So I had to change this to feet. So there's three feet in a yard. So this is actually 15 feet. And then I have to change that to inches. So 15 times 12. What is that? 180 inches per hour. Okay. Does that make sense to everybody? We just had to go through some steps. But now, if I want to change this to minutes, if I do this in one hour, what am I going to divide this by? Just by 60. Just by 60. Because hours to minutes, how many minutes are in an hour? I'm going to divide by 60. Yep, so then i got to divide by 60. That's right. What? What's the matter? No, no he was telling the answer already. You were a step behind. <laughs> so this would have been 30 inches oh sorry three inches per minute seriously you guys it takes practice if you are struggling with it now and I try to tell the other class that it take this is something that takes practice so and honestly I was first introduced to this probably when I was in chemistry, and it was super hard in chemistry. So you're lucky you're actually like getting a little bit of it now. Oh, chemistry is pretty much all math. Oh, you use conversion factors like crazy in chemistry. Don't ask me how, because I don't remember. I was a junior in high school, but I used it a lot, and I was not good at it. And I wish that somebody would have kind of showed me a little bit about it before I would have gotten there. It was hard. For me, it was. Okay. You want to do number three yet? All right, let's find number three. So three says eight inches equals blank centimeters. So this is where you're going to use your chart. Yep, yep. Sometimes, not all the time. They are in all two steps. Yep. So if I go back to my chart, what's one inch? One inch is like two point. What was it? That's not right. Oh. Okay, are you watching, Larissa? Okay, so then I'm just going to multiply those two together. Remember when I use the chart, all you do is multiply. So it'll be 2.540 times 8, 0, uh, 2, carry the 3, 43. 16, 17, and 20. Something like that. And that's my answer. Then I'm done. The reason why they give you that about symbol is because, because in that chart, do you see that chart in there? How everything in there has got a squiggly line. The reason they did that is because half of those are probably rounded. If you did it, it would have gone on forever, and they had to round it to make it easy for you. That's why it's the about symbol, because it's close, but not like perfect. That's why. Okay, so let me tell you, you want me to tell you which ones are the multi-step equations in here? Okay, so let's see. Number 12, um, hours per year, yep, number 12 is a two-step one, and number 13 is a two-step one. Number 10 is not. Number 11 is not. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. So 12 and 13 are both two-step. Now let me look at 23. Oh, you don't? Oh, then we're good. So 12 and 13 are the only two steps that are two multi-steps. Yep, so take your time. Take your time. 